Hey guys gang and welcome to a Path of XR video. This video is going to be a bit of a mixed video, mainly on heist as usual. That's my primary content. Um, so I'm going to be going through a few things. So let's start off at the beginning and go from there. I have pretty much abandoned Sentinel League. Um, I've still got my two characters there, my baby heister and my um, endless heist. But other than that, I've pretty much abandoned it. Um, I, I'm probably going to be abandoning leagues from now on and, and just stick with standard for various personal reasons. Um, so let's get that out of the way. I've still got my hardcore characters. Uh, there'll be a new video coming out um, later today for that. Um, and then we've got my standard characters. Um, we're still leveling up the poison concoction character. So let's just um, do this. Recording YouTube video. Check me out. Uh, for oh. Okay, that's got that in. Right, let's have a look at this character. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got some. Uh, lots of things to go through on this character I am working my way through this character is based on the path of building shared by the discord user pixel kick in the TFT discord server heist discussion channel if you want to learn anything about heist please come and join us in there we will help you out as much as we can alternatively or in addition to I've also got a uh, Google document linked below with lots of helpful um, heist information on there I will show you in this video it is on a white background I apologize I cannot get a dark background uh, for Google Docs I can't get it to stay anyway so here comes that document there we go so I got a link here to my cheat sheet a link here to uh, basic gear setup uh, the baby heister which is the level 5960 endless heist high level heister Lokahol, one of the SA streamers, South African streamers, and one of the crew that organises Anomaly League. Each league has put out um, a YouTube from their perspective. They're very new to Heist, so hopefully you'll welcome them. And then various other builds that have been either featured or mentioned, and some uh, tools below there as well. This is a new one. This build here is, is new, it's only been linked uh, about an hour or two ago in the Discord channel. So I've popped it on my document there as well. Um, so that's there as well. I'll link that document as usual in the bottom of this video. Um, on to this um, Poison Cotton build. Um, I'm leveling up through the axe. I made it all the way to the end of Act 6 without a problem. Uh, some of the bosses were, well I'll say without a problem, were a bit slower than I would like. Chaos Weaver mobs are horrendously awful and will be horrendous because a large amount of our DPS comes from Wither and Chaos Weaver are immune to Wither. So I don't know if they changed that in the recent patch today, as I'm recording this video, it was this morning. But Chaos Weaver is a pain in the butt for this um, this character leveling up anyway in heist it's not going to be too much of a problem because half the time we're not killing mobs we're just kind of getting through the ones we need to get to to complete the contract um, I'm still in basis gear all the gear was farmed in SSF standard so it should be easily obtainable and outreached in trade league I have upgraded it with some links and fusings I'm now uh, sorry I forgot to mention I migrated to standard uh, because at the end of halfway through Act 7, I uh, ran out of currency to get uh, the correct colours and links. So the gear hasn't changed. Uh, I've just used fusings, chromes and jewellers for testing this build um, to see if it does work. And it really does well. Um, in Act 7, however, the the damage is becomes a bit lackluster however I do not have the uniques that you would have readily acceptable um, in sta in Sentinel League or any league really so the uniques you need and I should have prepared for this my apologies the uniques you're looking for would be um, oops let me change that to owned there we go 
the winter I think it's winter weave winter weave ring uh, the iron fang oops iron fang I thought it was ice fang sorry not iron ice fang ice there it is the ice fang orbit ring and then on this particular version of the build you want to grab yourself a more of conquest helm mine's only showing level 60 because of the enchant on there this um, I found this ages ago and it dropped like that so whatever um, all of these are around about level 48 uniques and uh, according to Peary ninja history all of them are available for 1c uh, you can then look for better rolls, etc., which will pos possibly increase the price. And then on your Mora Conquest, you can look for a helpful enchant um, or thwack it over to a lab runner to get an enchant you want. Either or, depends how much you want to invest in the build. I don't have those uniques. Um, as you can see, I can't equip the only Mora Conquest I have in my collection. I could buy one, but at the moment, um, my build suffers with a lack of resistances um, and if I put the uniques on I can't easily get resistances however when I hit uh, level 57 I'll have access to some of the gear I've collected in standard which will bolster my resistances and then I can switch into the unique so I've only got one and a half levels to go give or take um, and I'll be able to do that I've been working on the path of building for this character um, if I find it in the list, there it is, that one. Doo -doo, on screen now. I'm not going to link this in the video display because it's not finished. There are no notes about where to get stuff. The skills are missing and are wrong. Um, the items are the end uh, end build version items. Sorry, I've got stuck for words. I've been ill the last few days. Um, so I'm, um, um, yeah, I'm still working on it, but once this is done, um, it'll all be finalised and stuff. So this is what we've got: act, act, each act, and then what level you theoretically should be as you leave that act. Now this is reasonable expectation levels for per act, unless you are speed running, and if you are speed running, then you probably not league starting heist really, because you probably end up wanting to go for maps and or bosses. Uh, it doesn't stop you from racing a, a heist, but it means the levels will be lower than this, which means it may throw out the DPS and the ability to get certain auras and or gear. So, disclaimer there. So as I said, I'm uh, currently on Act 7. This isn't the final version of this yet. Um, <clears throat> we've still got some bits to do. Where is... Uh, Parfex all gone, there it is. I think I'm, yeah, I've, I've just got to go and kill the boss, which may get me up to 56, possibly 57. I'm not sure. Hopefully, if it gets me up to 57, I can put the gear on. Um, so the idea with this is we're going to go all the way up to Act 10. Uh, don't kill uh, Act 10 Katava and get that done, and then start doing our endless heist strategy with this character. Um, it's really good. The only, the only it really it from act one to five other than the bosses and a few of the arch nem modifiers it it ripped through everything even even with the life tap um i possibly wouldn't have life tap in the build i just couldn't get a four green so i ended up with a three green and one red um i had a four green went to roll it to do something else and and yeah whatever anyway um <laughs> it's better without the life tap uh, but then you can't get all your uh, buffs on. I was using Purity of Elements until we got our Cruel Lab done with the Quartz Infusion. And then at that point I found it's better to switch to Haste. Uh, which means you, you're losing a ton of resistances. Which is another reason why I can't put on the Uniques. If I was still running Purity of Elements and put on the Uniques, the, the resistances would be easier to handle. And I heavily suggest you do that. Um, I might suggest that in the way I do the POB and then have haste leveling up all the way through until you're ready to swap over um, at you know the, the, the handless heist part, but then you're gonna have to re-gear. So it's kind of when do you want to re-gear in the axe or at the end? Probably at the end when you're getting all the, the end uh, build stuff together. So that's probably what how I'll structure the POB. Mm. 
Ah, sorry, I've got a can of soda on the go. Okay, so that's the Poison Concoction build. Uh, this is going to be the level 67 version. From then, I'll have a look at the level 90 version. I'm not going to level the character up to level 90. Um, I've, got, I've got other things I want to be doing. But we'll see how it goes. I've got enough contracts to level it up in Heist. Because uh, it's just standard, I've got a huge amount of collection of uh, contracts I could run. It just depends how I get on with the build and how I'm feeling with the build itself and the availability of needed gear. So that's where we're at. Um, overall, pretty good. Uh, as I said, I've been feeling a bit ill the last few days, so uh, content's been a bit um and ah. Uh, not much really, really to say, really. Uh, yeah, it's just been a bit of an up and down few days. Uh, the bit this this build I, I like, I do like this build. It's a different version than the TR, the Toxic Rain Raider, but it take, does take a bit of years to. And I haven't played it with the haste buff yet, so I'm about to go and do that after I've recorded this video. Um, do a bit more on this character. Hopefully, get it to the point where I can end the size, get some gear on, and I'll record another video. Um, probably tomorrow because I want to try and keep it Monday Wednesday Friday now I'm feeling a lot better um, and I'll do the hardcore video late today as well hope you enjoyed the video if you have done please stick around the channel for some more heist content and uh, yeah thank you very much see you in the next one